Caddis Maximus here, this time with a quick review of the Harbor Freight's two best magnetic pickup tools. I would say maybe not the two best, but the two most common ones that you would end up buying, and that would be the standard telescoping pocket pen type pickup tool with the little articulating head, and of course the larger heavy duty pickup tool. I believe they actually they advertise this as the 15 pound capacity pickup tool. Now both of these have neodymium magnets in them and they indeed do hold quite strongly. These are a nice item from Harbor Freight because there really isn't much difference in magnetic pickup tools. There's a few uh, brands which have nicer ones and you can feel them. They're really heavy because they use thicker walls on the telescoping portion. Now what these are is they're radio antennas. That's a literally the, the, what the how they're manufactured and the same thing. So you just magically as radio antennas that telescope became less common, the manufacturers found other uses for them. So imagine that. So this pen type one is known as the 18 inch, and that would be its fully extended length of the maximum reach. And of course, the large or the heavy duty one is a 24, actually that would be quite a bit longer. This would be a 32 inch pickup tool, so you get a ton of reach. However, the 15 pound unit does not have an articulating head. This is a great magnetic pickup tool, a really strong tool for sometimes they're a hassle because they always want to get stuck to things that you don't want them to get stuck to. But at the same time, their extra amount of force allows you to fidget and pull fasteners. If you have something that's lost, that's caught in some kind of crevice, the strong magnet will allow you to get the edge of it such as a dropped Allen wrench, you'd be able to just get some small piece of it and it would provide enough strength for you to fidget it out wherever it's at. And that is one of the disadvantages to the small tools is that they, on a very sharp point, they don't have quite as much holding power. Now, obviously, the little articulating head tool can be fixed, fished into pretty much any space that a, uh, a socket or that a bolt may fall into, and that's why you would want one of these. There are some other styles which I don't have, and I wish a Harbor Freight would sell, which would be like a snake style magnetic pick pickup tool. That could also be very handy. Now, as far as the real strength, this one is real reasonable. The 15 pound unit, I believe, is as advertised, but you need a real strong cross section. What we have here is like a four inch diameter by two inch thick or one and a half inch thick uh, nodular iron, and we can use this tool, and we can see that we can easily pick up a pretty large piece of steel with it. So this is definitely a nice high strength unit. I also appreciate the articulated or the over molded handle, although I suspect over time and use that this handle may want to slip off. But it may not, only time will tell. Another thing I wanted to point out is they did knurl the end of that, which is pretty nice, although I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's just to help grab it and get it to pull off of items. One other thing I did want to mention, especially when it's extended, is if you're on a thick piece of steel and it has a lot of cross section, it is held on pretty good. And right here it feels okay, but when it's extended, you feel yourself putting quite a bit of stress on. And so I would worry about um, this head end up this head becoming loose or even falling off. I'm sure they attached it pretty well. But when it comes to bending forces and the fact this is just a thin walled tube, I would worry about it kinking. That would be kind of rare situations, but it would be more likely if you're fishing around somewhere, the magnet's caught on something, and wherever the magnet's stuck is also causing it to catch on this lip, and then you're trying to yank it or get it to pull out of wherever it's stuck, I could easily see that becoming a damaging situation. Aside from that point, these are still really handy, especially when they're sold at a place like in stock at Harbor Freight when you need a pickup tool or you just lost yours or something like that. And having one that's actually high strength uh, really is my go-to unit. Uh, I don't use the lesser one unless I really need to. And overall, these are pretty high quality. And for like $10, you can get the pair of them. And you get a lifetime warranty out of Harbor Freight. So I guess that is true. If you do kink it, you can't always return it. So anyway, that was just another quick review uh, from Caddis Maximus. I really appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe.